And we begin in the North Rift where students of the Garissa University College report to the main Moy University campus in Eldora today. This comes after the attack at their college in Garissa on the 2nd of April. The survivors of the attack were relocated to the main campus where our reporter Masi Kande now joins us via phone. Masi, if you can just bring us up to speed, what is currently happening right there? Yes, Ian, we are currently at the Moy University main campus. The registration of the students formerly of Garissa University College is happening at the student center. 650 of them are expected to have been registered by the end of this exercise. We've talked to the university management. They're saying that about 10 of them are still said to be either in hospital or are still recuperating. They've been told to stay calm, that they'll be able to still defer their studies, then come back and continue when they are well, better, and able to uh, continue with their education. Um, the students had six weeks to complete the semesters that they had. These are university students, first year, second year, and third year. Four weeks have been scheduled for um, classwork, while two weeks for exams. What is currently happening here is that they are visiting desks for, to register their names, to get identification, new identification cards, um, accommodation, uh, relocation to hostels. They are not needed to pay anything. This will involve a one-week orientation to be shown around the school, orientation and, uh, you know, to just uh, acquaint, acquaint themselves with the students here and the environment. The classes will start on, on Tuesday, Tuesday next week. Ian? Well, Marcy, some of these students were quite traumatized, especially from what they saw. Have you talked to them, and what is the mood like there right now? Yes, Ian. I've seen, uh, I, I was talking to a few of the students from Garissa University College, and there's a lot of hope written on their faces, Ian. They can't, they are longing to, you know, uh, start education. Some of them, yes. Uh, the university, in fact, uh, have, have put uh, trauma classes uh, scheduled for it's a seven week orientation so they are saying that uh, the students and also teachers including the, the teaching and the non-teaching staff will go through counseling trauma counseling to enable them you know uh, merge into this new environment well in terms that they're able to uh, their, their, their mental state is, uh, is okay. And as I was telling you, and I've spoken to a few of the students, interestingly, university, Garissa University College was quite a small university. They know each other. Everyone knows to have lost a friend, a roommate, a classmate. And even as they walk around, they keep on saying hi to each other. So yes, Ian, uh, a lot of support here, a lot of hope written on their faces, even as they register to join more university main campus. Well, Ian. Marcy, what about uh, in terms of accommodation? Does the school have enough capacity to, uh, to accommodate all the 650 students? Yes, we have talked to the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Nathan Ogechi, who says they have capacity to accommodate them. They're being moved into uh, the hostels within more university. They're not needed to pay anything. Uh, but, uh, however, Professor Nathan Ogechi says they're still calling out for support. They need financial support to, you know, accommodate these students well within the university. They also need uh, capacity in terms of human resource to counsel both the students and the teaching and non-teaching staff who are about uh, 159 and 27 teaching staff. Interestingly enough, uh, some concerns have been raised, are being raised by the teaching and non-teaching staff of their fate. That the fate of the students has been identified that they'll be here until they finish their university education but after this six weeks of uh, completing their semesters that they had uh, you know remained with back then what happened to the teachers the teaching and the non-teaching staff ian well uh, marcy just before i let you go one final question we know about uh, the students and any word about the some of the staff who are working at garissa university do we know what happens to them Yes, yes, Ian. Um, so talks are still ongoing uh, between uh, the staff and the non-teaching staff, representatives of uh, the union, to ensure that uh, they are well catered for. There had been reports that they'll be, you know, relocated to other universities of more universities, the satellite campuses, but that is still in the pipeline. Yes, although the non-teaching and teaching staff who've talked to us. Uh, on the side are saying they'd want also their fate to be official and known of where they will go next after the six-week semester is done here at the main university, Ian.
Thank you very much. That is Marcy Kandia joining us by way of one, just giving us an update from the Moy University campus, main campus, where at least 650 students from the Garissa University College are reporting to the school. Remember, this is the first time they're going back to school after that unfortunate incident on the 2nd of April. We shall have more on that, of course, in our subsequent bulletins.